everyone, it's Heidi and welcome back to today's episode of Baby Name Sunday. So I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. For today's list, I have been so thrilled. I've been kind of keeping this one in my back pocket and the list has just been growing and growing. So today is going to be an ultra long list of 50 animal inspired names. Now animal inspired, it's either going to be a direct animal name or the meaning will have animal inspiration behind it. Like all of my other larger lists, I will be going through them quite quickly. I will give you the name, the spelling, and as well as the meaning. And you guys really enjoyed my last long list. I actually gave you guys the ranking just underneath where I normally put the name of where it's falling on the name charts. So I'm going to do that with this video as well, just for some more insight and the gauge on how popular that specific name is. This is definitely a trend that I see growing in popularity in the future, in the coming years, 2021 and beyond with all of the nature-esque elements to them. Oh, Definitely. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys are new here. Hit the bell notification as well. And make sure to go follow me on all of my social medias. I'm always constantly posting on there. And then I post on Sundays here on YouTube. So without further talking, let's get into this animal inspired names list. All right. So to start off on the boy side, I have the name New Mare, spelled N U M A I R. This one's Arabic originated, meaning panther. Then, first one on the girl side, I have the name Otter. Spelled O T T E R. Now, this one might sound a little familiar because of Zoe Deschanel's daughter's name, Elsie Otter. So sweet. This one's an aquatic animal symbolizing playfulness, life, and creativity. Another option on the girl side I have for you is the name Bindi, spelled B I N D I. This one's an Australian Aboriginal name meaning butterfly. Then, moving on to a unisex name here, I have the name Darby, spelled D A R B Y. Now, this one actually has two meanings. It's Irish meaning free from envy or Norse meaning from the deer estate. Now onto two O names for girls. I have the name Orsa spelled O-R-S-A. This one's Italian variation of Ursula meaning a little female bear. And then there's the name Ovidia spelled O-V-I-D-I-A. Now this one could possibly be an alternative to Olivia, but this one's a feminine variation of the ancient Roman name Ovidius meaning shepherd or sheep. Next one here is the name Voss, spelled V-O-S-S. -S. This one's a Germanic name meaning fox. And then I have the name Kriya, spelled C-R-I-A. Now this one is a direct meaning of a baby lamb or alpaca. And then another really sweet one for a girl, I have the name Tora, spelled T-O-R-A. This one's one of my favorites on the list. It's Japanese originated meaning tiger. I have a more girlier option on the girl side. It's the name Capria, spelled C-A-P-R-E-A. And this one's a Latin word meaning a roe deer. And then onto a very handsome and surname inspired sounding boy's name. And this is the name Darton, spelled D A R T O N. And this one's English originated meaning deer town. Another animal name here is the name Moki, spelled M O K I. This one's deer in Native American. Specifically, the tribe name is either Hopi or Hoppy, spelled H O P I. And then as for a Greek name here next, I have the name Vanetta. Spelled V-A-N-E-T-T-A. -T -T -A. Again, it's Greek originated meaning butterfly. So maybe Bindi meaning butterfly and Veneta for girls. And next one here is the name Inara. Spelled A-I-N-A-R-A. -A -A. And this one's Basque originated meaning swallow. So specifically a swallow bird or queen of the swallows. Now to switch it up a bit, I have a unisex name here next. It's the name Artis. Spelled A-R-T-I-S. Artis. And this one's Scottish originated meaning bear. And then moving on to a handsome boy's name. It has kind of a beachy vibe too. It's the name Byron, spelled B-Y-R-O-N. Now this one's English originated meaning barn of cows, but a lot of people might associate this with Byron Bay in Australia, I believe where it is. Now speaking of handsome, I have the name Conroy, spelled C-O-N-R-O-Y. This could be a really great honorary name for a Roy in the family. And this one means hound or wolf on the plain in Irish. I have a really super sweet girl's name here next. It's the name Darva, spelled D-A-R-V-A. -A. Kind of futuristic sounding too, but it's Slavic originated, meaning honeybee. How stinking sweet is that? And then next is the name Erlia, spelled E-R-L-E-A. Erlia or Erlia. And this one also means bee, but in Basque. This one here next for the girl side kind of has this edgy tone to it. It's the name Jeddah, 
It's spelled J-E-D-D-A. And this one's an Australian Aboriginal name meaning Wren. I have a gorgeous Sanskrit girl's name here next. It's the name Mayuri. It's spelled M-A-Y-U-R-I. Nickname May, nickname Yuri. And this one means Peahen. And then another one here that kind of sounds really nice with Mayuri. It's the name Niala. It's spelled N-Y-A-L-A. -A. And this one means mountain goat in Ethiopian. Next two here are more shorter boys' names. I have the name Paco, spelled P-A-C-O, and this one's Spanish originated, meaning eagle. And then I have the name Tarvo, spelled T-A-R-V-O, and this one's Finnish originated, meaning kind of like a white cattle species. I have a Z name here next. It's the name Zeren, spelled Z-E-R-E-N, and this one's Mongolian originated, meaning gazelle. Back over to the girl side, I have the name Koira, spelled K O I R A. I think this one is so fun sounding, Koira. It can also do the nickname Koi, which I find really cool. And this one is Dog in Finnish. Back over to another Spanish originated name here. It's the name Cordero, spelled C O R D E R O. And again, Spanish originated meaning lamb. Moving on to a rare animal name for the girl side, I have the name Saula, spelled S A O L A. Now, this is like a large bovine mammal native to Vietnam and Laos. It kind of looks like an ox. Next, I have the name Starling, spelled S-T-A-R-L-I-N-G. It's a direct bird name, but also in mythology, they symbolize warriors, but also spirit messengers to the world. Speaking of mythology, I have the name Selket, spelled S-E-L-K-E-T. This one's an Egyptian goddess of scorpions and magic. So whimsical. And then I have the name Ocelot, spelled O-C-E-L-O-T. And this one's like a wild cat with that ocelot print. So it's kind of like the same pattern as like a cheetah or a leopard. Next one here, more of a girlier sounding name is the name Madalina, spelled M-A-T-T-O-L-I-N-A. I love the nickname Maddie for this one. And this one's an Italian name meaning woodlark. Now onto a few really cool names here. I have the name Aspen for a boy, E-S-P-E. And the meaning is so cool. It's Scandinavian meaning God bear. And then back over on the girl side, I have the name Corva, spelled C-O-R-V-A. And this one's Latin originated, meaning like a raven. Another cool one here, but it's more edgier for the boy side. It's the name Grizzly, spelled G-R-I-Z-Z-L-Y. I thought the nickname Grizzy for it would be so cool for a boy. I've actually seen a little boy on Instagram being named this name. And obviously this is referring to a grizzly bear which symbolizes strength and courage. Next one here a little bit more shorter and sweet sounding is the name Puma. It's spelled P-U-M-A. So this one sounds sweet but it has definitely that edge to it. It's a large cat more so commonly known as like a cougar or a mountain lion so again courage and strength but maybe for a little girl. And then a really sweet one that I love for a boy is the name Fennec. F-E-N-N-E-C. Now this one you can do the nickname Fen, but it's referring to a fennec fox. So that cute little fox with the big ears. Actually it was Zayla's favorite animal when she was little. We went to the zoo and she was absolutely obsessed with them. Now next one here, another Japanese originated name, but for the boy side, I have the name Tazu, spelled T-A-Z-U. Imagine Tora and Tazu for like twins or sibling names, boy and girl. And Tazu means rice field stork. Next one here is the name Sable, spelled S-A-B-L-E. This one's a direct animal name. They're actually a cute little mammal in the Martin species, like so, so cute. And then I have the name Coulter or Colt for a nickname, C-O-L-T-E-R. And this one's an English originated name, meaning Colt Herder or Young Horse Herder. To switch it up a bit, I have the name Pike, spelled P-I-K-E. So this one's both a fish name, but also the surname of Zebulon Pike, which was a famous American explorer. Next girl's name is the name Eowyn, spelled E-O-W-Y-N, and this one's English originated, meaning horse lover. And then onto one of my favorite unisex animal names here is the name Sparrow, spelled S-P-A-R-R-O-W. I love this one. It's probably one of my absolute favorite names. It's a bird name, but this specific bird actually symbolizes something small, but mighty and powerful. Number 44 is the name Navi, spelled N-A-V-V-I. This one's Tamil, meaning baby deer. And then I have the name Ayala 
spelled A-Y-A-L-A. And this is Hebrew originated meaning doe or gazelle. I have a few more here left. I have the name Everett, spelled E-V-E-R-E-T-T. -E -E and this is English from German, meaning brave as a wild boar. Like how cool of a meaning is that? I also find Everett could work for either boy or for a girl. And then I have the name Oxford for a boy, O-X-F-O-R-D. How cool is that? This one's an English place name, meaning from the oxen crossing. Number 48 is the name Raph, spelled R-A-F-E, and this is English from German, meaning wolf council. Then for a more vintage girl's name, I have the name Rudy, spelled R-U-D-Y, and this one's German, meaning famous wolf. So maybe Rudy and Raph for boy and girl. They both have wolf animal inspiration behind them. And then for the final name here, number 50, I have the name Meryl, spelled M-E-R-L-E, -E, and this one's French originated meaning blackbird. So uh, an amazing list. I know I absolutely loved finding all of these. I actually have even more. So in the future, I will definitely have a part two. I hope you guys found some really great animal inspiration, animal name ideas for yourself, or maybe if you're writing a book, whatever you need the name for, I hope that I helped you out. Make sure you guys leave in the comments any of your favorite animal inspired name, whether it's direct animal name or it has that animal inspiration behind the meaning. We would love to hear them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. Take care. Bye.